I think people stand down on the ground floor and they look up and they see all these little spaces and galleries and corridors and it really catches their imagination. And they think, what goes on up there? I really want to see. The upper level tours are, are done with only small groups of people. So you really get that kind of personal feel that you're not in a big mob of folk. But also it means you can get into some of the really little spaces. Some of the staircases are so narrow and tiny, but you get to see all the kind of inner workings of the cathedral drill and the bits that most people don't see, all the sort of bits and pieces we have and things to do with the history of the building and, and you just get a real sense of behind the scenes activity. It's the same for all the guides here that, that take people on the upper level tours. The people who are hearing it are hearing it for the first time so that it's always new to them usually. But also, you, you, you pick up things as you go along. There's always something new to find out, and it's never the same tour twice. You're always putting an emphasis on different things, depending on who's on your group, depending on what questions you get. Um, and you, you just spot things differently the whole time, or you've read a book last week and it's triggered something. There's always more things to learn. You never, ever get to the end of the, the amount of things there are to say or think about St Magnus Cathedral. There is not a finite amount of knowledge, and that's one of the wondrous things about it. There's always something hey, new to learn. The people who come on these tours absolutely love them without fail. They love the fact that they've got to creep around in the upper levels. They love all the bits and pieces. They love the stories. Um, and certainly the, all the response that we get is very, very positive. You can see how much people enjoy it.